Santos serving for De La Salle. Oh, don't be in block once again. The tandem of Antonio and Cerveza. And La Salle with a five point advantage. You know, Cerveza has really been the key yeah. factor for De La Salle. Offense and defense, but more on defense. He was really a key factor, especially in that third set. Really waking up his squad with his intensity. De Pamilo tried to go for a push on that overset second ball. And they get, DLS gets that point as it went wide. FEO 6, De La Trabaho natin, ipapasa natin sa kasama natin. Di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, communication lang. Ito lang ang problema natin, no boys, oh. Yun doon tayo-tayo ng talong ng kalaban. Nag-uusap sila. Tayo, body language lang. Binabasa lang natin kung anong galaw ng kasama natin. Magsalita kayo para alam nyo kung anong gagawin ninyo. Ito yan. Puro ang force error lang natin yan. Well, Coach George knows the... Critical that this situation is critical right. for and them. The, this is a must win set for them in the before even looking at the finals. I think you have to get over this uh, DLSU squad, and uh, they are down by a set here in this game and they down six to, points in this fourth set. They need to communicate more. Ah, oh, great take by Casanova. And LaSalle increasing their lead. And what a smart attack coming from De La Vega. Blocker is already there. This has been the situation for De La Vega and has, has come out of it several times in this game. Palaging ganya, pag nakita niya na yung dalawang blockers, he would go for a check ball. LaSalle with a seven point lead. And look at them. Try to work for that ball, but they won't get it. Well, Santos took it while he was running. Not the best way to get a reception or a dig. Petros Del Campo. He can't believe that La Salle is up by six right now. Uh, that would be, I think, the eighth uh, error on the serve by FEU or... Even more. Very uh, unlikely for De Ocampo to commit the service error. He is the reigning best server in the UAAP. Had 36 service aces last year. Combination play for FEU, but Asal still managed to save it. Oh. Again, single block. Aaron Calderon. And Calderon has provided some quality yes. minutes off the bench, really. That's right. And what about Cerveza? Philip Cerveza has been doing it all over the court for Coach Sammy Akailar. Running hits, middle hits. Name it. Blocks. Cerveza has done it all today. Roland Tonkin to oh, the back. Sort of baby oh. in that hit. And it goes long. FEU is in unchartered territory. Faces. You have a JP Torres. Torres and Coach OJ Mamon. JP Torres was played for UST. And was last year's MVP uh -huh. and best attacker. Ah! And once again, Antonio and Calderon on the block. Just frustrating the spikers of FEU at this point. FEU is just in disbelief right now as La Salle is up by 10 here. I think in 
close it out if they win this fourth That's set. That's right. This is a must-win set for uh, FEU if they want to take this game and go on to the finals. So if they if they lose this one, there would be another game, which is a do or die for both teams now. Yun ang mas mahirap yung situation na yun. I'm sure that's uh, what uh, Coach George Pasqua is looking at. Instead of looking at the finals, ang tinitignan niya pa is that do or die game against De La Salle. So La Salle giving them some trouble here. You can never go into the final four of the UAAP overconfident. And La Salle, which has overachieved this season, continues to overachieve here in the final four. Labrador at the middle, but still playable. Casanova keeping that one alive. Yeah, that's right, but this time just too much. Casanova all over the court, but this time that push. Just too perfect. Two straight points from FEU. They want to catch up. This is the right time for them to do so. And that goes long for Antonio. So FEU tried to make a run. Excuse me, four straight points from FEU. Ikaw ang magpoporsyento kasi maliit itong blocker na ito. Okay, ito. Pag, pag bini Aaron, ikaw pumunta dos. Ulitin ko, ha? Si Aaron, para makuha yung gitna, tumalong ka sa gitna, huwag binigay sa iyo para paluin mo. Ikaw ang porsyento dito at saka si Puto. Isang maganda kayo. Isang pasa! Isang pasa! Isang pasa! So, Aaron Calderon being set to at least get a blocker for FEU. Pero pag binigay sa kanya, he's going for the quick hit. And then they will go for a be quick to the other spike. And it's Antonio. So let's see if they're able to do that. Then he goes, there they go. Now let's see if they're going to expect Calderon to go for a hit, but they don't set it to him. A point for FEU. So FEU cutting the La Salle lead into half. It's right in the series of a string of points from the Tamarals. Tonkin still on the line. And La Salle stuck at 17. They were up 17 to 7. Oh, and that's what Coach Harry was saying. Si Calderon just for, went for a push. Told him to get ready. And Antonio. finally, the drought ends. That's right. Antonio once again stopping the run of FEU. But it was such a run that uh, really cut the lead of La Salle. It's still a six-point lead for Green Archers. It's not over yet until La Salle gets to 25 points. Oh. JR Labrador. Oh, man. With an exclamation point. Look at this middle hit. Ang taas kasi nung tres niya eh. Yung uh, differential hit ni Labrador. That's why it's really hard to block it. Kaya ito mo isang blockers na lang ina-assign. Parang let it be. Kung baga, just uh, take the point. Yung iba na lang yung binabantayan with Labrador at the middle. Oh! Antonio. And Smart move on the part of Antonio, but just a long one. He wanted a check, but won't get it. Let's and watch it, was, it one more time. And look at him go for that area. He knew he was he wanted to go to that back row. And it was nearly touched actually by Depa Milo. That's right. Great way to hold back there for Depa Milo. Oh, and Christensen sending that across. Only with one blocker gets the point. Red Christensen, right timing. Christopher Antonio serving. Michael Antonio now, the captain for LaSalle. 19 to 14. LaSalle was leading by as many as 10 here in this set. JR Labrador, Santos. To the back row, Antonio dug up there. Oh! oh. 
Now giving a free ball to the LSU because of that miscommunication. But Calderon once again just giving up a ding. Oh, another free ball now given to the Green Archers. Let's see who Santos goes to. He goes to the open hit. Oh, and Christensen with that angle gets the point using the blockers. A balanced scoring attack for De La Salle University. Red Christensen coming alive here in this all-important fourth set. You know, also credit Brent, Brandon Santos for the oh, yeah. setting job. Santos only in his second season. Getting a lot of experience here Labrador. going up against Into FEU. JR Labrador still fighting. 15. Calderon quite mistiming that block. 